about six years ago, something like that, just after Mia Farrow got married to Frank Sinatra. Peter Lester just, just walked in, and he's an old friend of Amanda Lear's from London. I'm here as the president of the Amanda Lear Fan Club. That's <laughs> <laughs> beyond. <laughs> well, that's great. The which president was, lays in. She screen, which was Amanda's color last season, but now where, where, where should I sit? Pull up a chair. Oh, Pull up a chair. Don't mind Taylor. He's just a prop tonight. Gee, you look That's so oh, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, we've made cable history. The, the, uh, right in the middle of this taping, the president of the Amanda Lear fan club walked in. Uh, this is, I just can't believe it. I, this is a phenomenal moment. It's like the Lindbergh disaster, <laughs> the Lindenberg disaster, whatever that thing with that blimp was. Oh, darling. Fine. <laughs> How you? You look you incredible. Why don't you take your clothes off? <laughs> Why don't you take your clothes off, Why Peter? I'm wait. This is a clean show. <laughs> oh, Taylor, I can't wait until you take your clothes off. Oh, well, I don't know about that. I don't. I hate I to say don't. this, but your microphone is in front of my face. I know, it's supposed yeah. to be. I got because I have to keep asking, but I can see you're wide and clear. I gotta, you can keep interrupting, but I've got to ask Amanda a lot of questions at the fan. I'll just clear up these questions and then anything goes. But I have these packed questions that people want to know about you, Amanda. Okay, a lot ahead. of these kids, c they, they send in copies of the record, which I appreciate. But they said, Amanda Jones is a record that the Rolling Stones wrote about you. And you've been a girlfriend of every single one of the Rolling Stones. Is that true? Mm, no, it's not exactly true. I think they mistake me for Marianne Faithful. <laughs> <laughs> I think Marianne did make a statement once in a moment of weakness that she had been the girlfriend of every one of the Stones, but uh, I never said anything like it, and I have never been the girlfriend of the Rolling Stones. Well, you were a Brian Jones girlfriend. Yes, but I mean, that's no, only wait, one. May I interrupt? <laughs> what the, wait, no, there's the, a story the, about the it. You said, you said, she, so she thinks she made a big deal by, by telling the press she had one of them. Well, I could tell that I had all of them. I remember that. Marion Faithful here on our it right. Is. I think you're <laughs> thinking of another group. I'm losing faith, faith are you in you, calling Marianne. me a groupie? My hair's so great. Am I calling you a groupie? No, of course not. But as Amanda okay. Jones was written about you, wasn't it, Amanda? That Rolling Stones I don't know, song? because Brian was called Brian Jones, and I was called Amanda, so they did this song called Amanda Jones, and which is a put-down. I don't know if it was written about... Oh, it's about a put-down because they say around and around and around she goes, and down and down. And down and down she goes. That's a, 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 a put-down. Well. Maybe it's a put-up. Maybe it's a put-up. I don't know. <laughs> no, the, the song I like very much that they wrote is actually Ruby Tuesday. Yeah, that is oh. possibly the one I would identify more. Oh, uh, and, I've, and, they all, and all the kids think that it's Amanda Jones. Who's Amanda Jones? No, they thought Amanda J Jones was written about yeah, Amanda that, because she really had an affair with... A long with time ago. Yeah. What's Amanda Jones? But it's uh, an affair with Brian Jones is something people don't forget. No, I could never forget. C what, was it, what was Brian like? Brian Jones. Uh, Brian Jones. Did you know him, Peter? Nice. Yeah. Was he very nice? Yes. Very nice. I, I, I hate talking about Brian. It really brings me down. No, but I know, yeah. <laughs> you look at, you look really Brian, brought down. Brian, I'll talk about No, because, you know. <laughs> Let's talk about Brian Ferry. <laughs> you have to. And that leads us to Brian Ferry. Yeah, because Brian has all okay. the that's all No, but, but. We, you see, we, from London, we always it's have. It's not the past. Brian Jones is history. Yeah, um, he, has, he should stay that way. You know, you're going to be secretary of that fan club by the time you get through here. Never mind president. <laughs> I'm member. I'm the membership. <laughs> <laughs> now, really, how many, seriously, how many people are in the Amanda uh, Lear fan club? Oh, wow. Uh, you want an exact number? Oh, I have, I have the uh, club I yearbook with me, which happens to be in my shoes. <laughs> There are a lot of members. Yeah, know? I can see those pages world. are very blank. Why did they cut Taylor it easy? <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Mead is a member. He's a member. How long have you been in the Amanda Lear fan club, Taylor? Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. That's quite a membership. All right, why aren't um, we Yankee serious? Yankee Jagger is a member. Oh, can't we <laughs> Wait a minute. That was in the contract. I believe that there was a stipulation in the contract that we made here that we're not we're bringing not up. We're not talking about boring Absolutely. people. We're not, we will not talk about That's boring people. That's boring, but it's still boring. <laughs> I never met a dyke I didn't like. Did you repeat that? I said, I never met a dyke I didn't like. From the president of the Amanda Lear fan club. <laughs> Amanda, 
So many people are envious and jealous of you. Do you have any yes. beauty? Some, you know, when these ladies write in, they say, how does Amanda <coughs> Lear pluck her eyebrows? How, I how don't. Do you don't? No. <coughs> she doesn't. Awesome. Do you have any, uh, any more beauty tips for the uh, Diesel yeah. Dykes of America? Mm, yes, I, I don't believe in overdoing the makeup. And one of the men uh, faults that all the girls do is that they overdo it. They put too much lipstick or too much false eyelashes, too much fun. Now makeup shouldn't exist at all because for a start the whole thing is rubbish. It's very bad for your skin and you shouldn't use makeup unless it's an absolute necessity and you want to hide spots uh, you have a wart or your eyes are really so tiny that you can't see them, then use makeup. Then why do you wear makeup? Well, I wear makeup. <laughs> I mean, here I am, uh, to, call candy, to call Candy Darling, I'm sitting here, she's got ten, pair, <laughs> ten layers of pancake, I could scratch my initials in her forehead, and she's telling me that you shouldn't wear makeup. You dropped your nose. I dropped my unemployment card. I will teach you to be nice. <laughs> All right, well, I am not wearing pancakes. No, but seriously, I'll but carve I my initials, right? <laughs> I have a spot here, see, and I have a spot here, and it's oh. all his fault <laughs> because they gave a party for me when I arrived. Oh, and, I thought uh, he beat you up. And I am and not used to drinking. <laughs> and I walk out with spots. Oh, so we have some more fans here. Hey, baby! With a red riding hood. Oh, my beauty. Hello. How are you? Uh, you? Richard Branson. <laughs> uh, you left a shoe here. Oh, yeah. Shoe here last night. I know. I, I know. I left part of the costume. That's the Manolo <laughs> original. <laughs> is it, whose shoe is this? Hi, <laughs> Pull up a chair or sit on the floor. But whose shoe is this? Well, this is very sick. I don't know who. I don't know where this got. How this got in the set. A little girl. So that's your beauty. So your beauty tips, Amanda, to sum them up. Wear as little as possible <laughs> and uh, well, cover, up your, uh, cover up your spots because that is terrible. When you see, especially boys, actually, I don't know why they have a bad skin here, boys. It's probably because they don't have makeup to cover to it with, I don't know. No, it's something to do with the food or the well. water or something. I mean, I really see people got so many spots, they look like a pizza, and it's very off-putting. Yeah, so late girls out there, be careful, because your boyfriend might be calling you spot, um, <laughs> and you don't want to be a dog. You don't want to be treated like an animal, so take Amanda Lear's advice and wear a little makeup, but cover up your spots. <laughs> your weak spots. You're, and especially your weak spots. Oh, also, I've got to tell you, because there are a lot of fans out there, and you don't know, because people are sending their fan mail in. You can, se you can send your fan mail to Sterling or, or uh, Channel C or Channel 10, but you can also send your fan mail and your checks. We prefer cash, but don't send me cash because I don't know who's going to open the mail. So, but anyway, send, send it to uh, Anton Parish Productions, spelled, uh, I don't know how to spell. M-I-C-K. Anton Parish Productions, 33 Union Square West. What's the zip code? 10003. I used to work here. 10003. Anton Parish Productions, 33 Union Square West, New York, New York. Zip 10003. And keep those checks coming in. We've, how much money have we accumulated so far tonight in the, on this telethon? <laughs> <laughs> and listen, Nassau one, County, listen. One Taylor Mead. One Taylor Mead. Taylor Mead's in. I mean, in Nassau County, what's going on? Last year, you donated fifty thousand dollars for the month. Uh. I mean, please and please, no, the lip gloss. We have enough lip gloss to keep us in stock for another ten yeah, years. One day, uh, if I die, I'll die of an OD of lip gloss. I think. So you do. So uh, oh, you also recommend lip gloss. I love lip gloss. Okay, well, we'll give you the lip gloss, but really, we need cash for this telethon, for the Taylor Mead uh, look-alike telethon. So please, I mean, Nassau County, I mean, we have no response from them today. Last year, they gave us $2 million. I mean, these people are Tell us about Myron. What's Myron about? You were reading Myron in the hotel. Oh, Amanda, what are you, any, read any good books lately? <laughs> That's a start. That's a corny <laughs> approach. Well, oh, yeah, and we, that'll lead into your comic strip, because I hear you're in a comic uh, strip. No, have I read any nice books lately? Yes, I read Gore Vidal's Myron, and I read... Uh, I know, I reread All My Oscar Wilde. I reread a you wonderful like book by Michael Bulgakov called um, Mar uh, The Master and Margarita, which is an incredible book. Have you read The Master and Margarita? No, and... This is a book... There's an amazing book which, which I lent I lent once to Marianne Faithful and she met Mick 
Jagger wrote it, and he wrote Sympathy for the Devil after this book. It's a fantastic book. It's an old book. Yeah, it's, no, it's not old. I mean, it's a few years ago. It's a Russian book. It's very I'll nice. It, maybe the first. Get that! So I, I reread that lately. And I don't, I don't read much, you know. <laughs> so I've read two books. <laughs> but I'm more into Is comic strips. <laughs> Is Rose Zimmerman? Is Liz Taylor here? No. <laughs> so, Is but. Liz Taylor queer? <laughs> <laughs> no. The president of the Amanda Lear Fan Club. Is Liz Taylor queer? Is Liz Taylor queer? And uh, number two on the hip parade. Is, but what's your favorite book that you've read lately? Myron, uh, obviously. No, no, I, I, Am I putting no, words into your bookshelf? It's not obvious, but I, I did think it was very well written. Very, mm -hmm. very well written. I do, haven't read it yet. It's great. Read it. It's very love funny. It. Amanda very turned well me on to Myron. Yeah. So it's uh, one I, of I, the I admire Gore Vidal. I think he's a very good writer. Do you film of it? Yes, they do. But Raquel's not interested. I asked they her. Asked her. I, I asked her. She hasn't even read it. Wait a second. Who's Does she read, read books? I asked Raquel. Of course she reads books. <laughs> <laughs> she reads books. She <laughs> happens to be very, very well Amanda educated. Amanda just did She's a fabulous a record. Oh, and Tinkerbell has to tell us about it. Well, you keep it like, it like. <laughs> Should I sit there? The just while she's gone. And I can sit in the audience. What are you um, doing? Well, I'm taking over, over from Tinkerbell. She has to go to the bathroom. You're on my parade. I was just about to ask you about, about a cartoon strip that was, that was done for you. Now, if I remember rightly, it was um, Octobriana. Is that right? The spirit of the Russian Revolution. Mm. How did that all, tell me about that? Well, it, it literally started uh, about a year ago of a Christmas. What are you sniggering about? Sorry. Ignore him. Get out of here, Bernstein. Get He's out not of used to this type of. No, it Dude. started uh, literally about a year ago, around Christmas. Um, David uh, Bowie had uh, this um, book of uh, Octobriana, and yes. she happens to be a Russian comic strip heroine, and it, and it was uh, smuggled out of Russia, and it's anti-government sort of thing. It's, it's very, very good, very nice drawing. But it was so. And they wanted to, no? and they wanted to make this into a and, movie. And uh, you know, uh, he said, "Why don't we do a TV series out of this?" You know. David and I said, well, this guy looked crazy. Right. Sort of wonderful. And then we thought, of, exactly. And then we thought about it and we said, yeah, absolutely right. So we started writing, you know, and getting it together. And then I really got into it. And uh, I rewrote a script, you know, and turned it into um, a musical. And I wrote a lot of people do. It's a very interesting analogy. It's very much like Mae West, who I had the pleasure to meet not so long ago. Who Ama like Ama West? Amanda has this amazing quality of being able to write material for herself high caliber material that uh, the top script writer couldn't come up with and songs as well it's, it's something very interesting the song that you recorded yes you I did agree. and the lyrics are sensational love to hear it tell us a little about it uh, what do you want me to tell you about it what is it about <laughs> <laughs> what's it all about i'm rubber blanche but you are you are wait would you hand me that bag it's time for a commercial no, my that's bag. my bag okay. and you keep at it it's time for a commercial break this Ladies is and not the pd lester yeah. show hold this time for a break hold that yeah the break that i want to tell time you for about this time we could have been friends <laughs> Please, please squeeze the Charmin. Please squeeze my Charmin. Don't squeeze the Charmin. <laughs> Mr. Whipple. What's supposed to happen when you squeeze it? Oh, <laughs> why, why do you have to squeeze it? What's well, happening? It was just an idea. That <laughs> no, it was marvelous. Oh. But Amanda doesn't know Every it's a show on Broadway can be a hit. We have to make room for Tinkerbell to sit down. Maybe Richard can... <laughs> Speaking of, uh, listen, he just, Richard just let us into something interesting. He said, speaking of uh, all this, he said, every show on Broadway can't be a hit. And no, that brings up Man on the Moon. And Amanda, you saw, saw Amanda on the Channel 7 News of the premiere of the Man on the Moon. And uh, we have got, we've got, we've got letters oh, from I that. that dress she was wearing. It was like a Boston movie star dress. Her cleavage, stunning, basic black. And she had it. It was right? Diamond hoop earrings. I was almost said rhinestones, my like, God. <laughs> <laughs> she looked divine. Did you like yes. it? Yes. Mm, I said I look good too. It's actually the very simple The flashbulbs were dress. popping. I thought it was a strobe unit in the theater. Mm. She looked stunding that night. It was night. a nice evening. It was a very nice evening. So the party was great. How did you like the show? Uh, the show I thought was also very enjoyable. You like the play? You like the, the play? Truth, you Tell the truth, Ruth. <laughs> 
five minutes ago, you were dishing it for days. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't put down uh, any friend, and Genevieve is a friend, and John Philip is a friend. Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> what about Monique Van Voren? <laughs> no, I don't know her, but I thought, you Would know, you that like they, were, they were doing their best, and I thought it could work, but it needs, uh, obviously, reshuffling, or <laughs> more money, or more direction, or whatever, I don't know. I I'm, just, I'm just very me. sorry. As an excerpt on the Mickey Mouse Club. I thought it was a piece of shit, personally, but he thought it was charming, and Amanda seemed to enjoy it. Oh, I'm a, an incredible Does audience. I'm a very good audience. I, I even liked, you know, performances. You even like the Anton Parrish show? I even <laughs> liked, uh, I, I mean, I like play that closed instantly, like Fame, which closed down straight away. I liked it, you see. Uh, fame had class, but it didn't have an audience. Yes, but I'm a good audience. I really am. Well, if you but you're very interested in Marilyn, too. I mean, you've read a lot of things about her. She was a great... Lucy Ball also. I hate Lucy, you know that true? I hate Lucy. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called... <laughs> it's called I Hate Lucy. Oh, I We thinking of you, Sigmund. <laughs> Ziggy. Any other favorite TV shows? You're in town now with Dolly, I hear. You hear? Yes. yes. How's he doing? Were you, were you at his opening at the, the museum in Spain? Yes, I was. Oh, at the museum in Spain? <laughs> My God. At the museum in Spain, there are two museums in Spain. You know, after I hear the rain in one. Spain is wet. What is it like? I saw well, pictures of it. To me, you don't speak English <laughs> anymore. <laughs> for Dolly does it? Dolly no. Well, it's the same with me, yeah, but, but I see Richard, the same phenomenon happened. After talking to me for a bit, he starts getting his English all wrong, and you don't understand what he's saying. Why is that? Dutch? Maybe he's catching. catching. I this is true. I said I saw French pictures French in Pe Pickle Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Pickle Magazine? <laughs> Pickle Magazine, for to all the subscribers of Pickle Magazine. No, but anyway, yes, I, uh, Dali's in town, yes. Dali's in town, well, and hello, I'm in Dali. town. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's pointless. Dali. Well, hello. We already it's, saying hello, Dali, on this show. It's is pointless he saying hello. Say? He doesn't get cable TV. Is it true they were writing a but musical based on his life called Sally? Sally what? <laughs> Sally, what's her name? Sally. What? I'll never forget Sally. What's her name? <laughs> Sally Dally, silly. Dilly Dilly. <laughs> You Billy, dilly silly Billy, Sally, Dolly. Are you How drunk? Not yet. No, this is the, this Are you is kidding? This Are you three trying to make me look like a drunk. fool? No, no, no. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is the way they're showing us. They always get into this As zany trip and everyone yeah. sort of... All right, all right go on. Richard, I'm oh, just not used to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's just a man who's used to NBC. I'm just not used to this. Who's the one I saw last night? I saw a chat show on television last night. Apparently it's on every night. Joe Franklin. Joe Franklin, who I hated, and Cherry Vanilla was on there. I've never liked her oh, before. Oh, she was very good. And She's she very was Cherry. brilliant. Abs I've never seen her perform before. I never liked her particularly, but she was remarkable. Mm, she, was she, she was. Take off your clothes now. Blow it. Take that. Mm. <laughs> she was very good. You know, Amanda saw that show last night too, and I'm so I can't believe it. You know, because no, it was because last night was um, a birthday party of a friend of ours called Paul Jabara. <laughs> And uh, yeah. there was this party for him, and then the party wasn't sort of picking up, you know, there was Monique Van Vaughan was there, and, and Sylvia Miles was there, and uh, what's her name, von Furstenberg, and Pat, I mean, all those people were there, but it wasn't I happening, feel. so I went next room, and I watched TV, and Cherry Vanilla was on, and I screamed, Cherry Vanilla's on, everybody comes, everybody came, and I actually watched TV, which wasn't very nice for Paul Jabara, because it was his birthday yeah. party. No, it was I think okay. it, it, came it came became the, it was the most wonderful came party in the end, the best part, the in best the party end, I know, because you, you haven't gotten up yet today. Until five o'clock this morning at that party, I was having so much fun. Oh, wow. I was five days. So yes. You've been to all these marvelous parties and social events, you've been on television, had your picture in Women's Wear, I think it's fantastic. Fantastic. Yes, it's, it's well, nice. It's, it's very promising. Do you think I should maybe stay? Well, no, this isn't new for oh, Amanda. Absolutely. You have to. Yeah, this, isn't, this isn't new yeah, for Amanda. New well, you had a card reading. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm you New had York a card reading the didn't other day, didn't you? Frederick oh, yes. Davis. You were telling me about it. What did he say? Fantastic. She went to see Frederick Davis. Uh, yes. He used to read. He used to read my cards he in London. He used to read the stars like I the Hayward. No, he's really good. He's called Frederick Davis, and he's really good. He does a tarot, you know. Is that Frederick of Hollywood? No, no, that, that's Frederick my shoes. <laughs> that's shoes. Is Frederick <laughs> Davis oh, anything yeah. like, so he's Look a very... stockings. Aren't they beautiful? Pink. Oh, my God, they're anklets. My God. <laughs> so Frederick Davis... Give da me back that Jurassic windbreaker with the splash mink collar and... Back cup. to Paul Jabara. <laughs> the cameraman's gone. Oh, Anton, is it uh, worth taping, aren't we? <laughs> of course. Um, <laughs> he just sent Manny out for an ounce of grass. Matthew, are you going to sing? 
<laughs> oh, don't start playing, Matthew. Oh, no. If he plays 16 millimeter baby again. Oh, you can say one song. I would sing us a song, Matthew. Well, Matthew's going to sing us one song. Sing a song for Man on the Moon. This, song is, this is a song dedicated to... To the Man world. on the Moon. To Man on the Moon. To, uh, to uh, everybody. Okay. <laughs> don't make me cry. Just don't make us cry. That's a song dedicated to Charlotte. Fabulous. of everybody's weakness and strength. And all your dish. If you want your freedom again, believe me, I have no complaint. Oh, no. If you like, I'll tell you a place you can hang out. <laughs> Screaming faggots, bull dykes, and queens who just freak out. Oh, yes, they just freak out. You ain't no woman, you are a wretched fiend. Thank you very much. Sing his version of a sewing machine. I beg your pardon. Strip out. Number 10 on the hit parade. Matthew Rush. That was the greatest thing I ever heard. That was very talented. That was very good, Matthew. Matthew will do another song someday. So. Soon. That was really nice. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, getting back to reality. <laughs> yes? Is oh, there anything you want to ask oh, me? You can pick up your yes, there's lots of things I want to ask you. You promised it. Now, what was that story you told me about Brian Jones in London in 1968? I know, I was very little then. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Um, yes, I want to ask you, Amanda Lear, who, you're, who, who is your ideal man? What's your idea, idea of the ideal man? At the moment. Yeah. Did he just walk in the door? Well, you, <laughs> can, you can make a conglomerate. What's the word? Make is that Lou Reed? <laughs> make a composite, <laughs> Amanda. Is Lou Reed, excuse me, as I was at a Freudian slip, is Lou Reed your idea of the ideal man? I think no. Amanda should make a composite of her ideal man, what he should look like, what his station is like, oh, and yes, think of all the heads on the bodies, Amanda. <laughs> I don't have to do a composite because I know exactly what I want. Who is Unlike it? you. <laughs> well, aren't you sweet? Uh, no, I do, I do know exactly what I want. His name is um, Peter Berlin. <gasps> she even knows his name. Isn't he in a movie at the 55th Street Playhouse? Yes, I think he looks very nice. Called Seven in a Barn. No, as far as, as, far as uh, no, it's not called Seven in a Barn. As far as good looks are concerned, this is the kind of looks I think are great. I don't know how his head is. Well, what does he look like? Peter Henwood. Who? Yes. Peter Berlin. He is. Yeah, he is. Is that anything to do with Peter Bridget Henwood? Is no. A little older, that's all. Do we look okay, Joey? Though? Do I look okay? Yes. Is Amanda, Amanda in the picture enough? Uh-huh, she's in the middle. Great. Joel saw you. He saw you on uh, David Bowie, but you never met. No, I never And he's one of your biggest fans. Nice to meet you. Amanda, Joel. She looks so nice today. She's so together. I love her clothes. The first time I saw Amanda was in London in 1969. Mm -hmm. And nice. she walked into the Picasso, which was sort of like a restaurant on... Um, uh, King's Road, which is sort of the Greenwich Avenue of London, and she was wearing white and silver and silver shoes, and she looked beautiful. You walked in with Keith Richards then, I remember. That's possible. Because the castle is closed down. In London, has changed so much. Wow. The King's Road. They're tearing down all those landmark buildings. They, yes, yeah. it's, it's just changing. Yeah, it's very sad. That's one of the reasons why I came to New York, actually, because uh, London is a little depressing. They didn't tear my house. Well, but <laughs> You've never spent that much time in New York City uh, for a long period of time. Yeah. But you like the city now. I was no? coming in for two weeks or something like that. You know, I, I used to work for um, a management company. And uh, we won't mention they owe me a half a grand. And they also <laughs> owe us a commercial. We've done enough on their talent. Yes, <laughs> talent. And anyway, they used to tell me, you know, and um, for a couple of weeks here to go up my music recording studio or give interviews or something like that. So that's all I know from New York is about two weeks in a hotel room, really. But this time I'm going to explore it. In the St. Regis suite, darling, that's enough to know about New York City. That's a nice hotel. It's a beautiful hotel. What about this comic strip that you mentioned that's we coming out? About that when you oh, we did? Yeah. Oh, you did? 
All right, but now what about your album? We talked about that too. Oh, we, you we did? Didn't I we, didn't, no, we didn't talk about the album. We didn't talk about the album. <laughs> okay. Just, just so you're singing now, Amanda. Do you yes. want? Is that what you want to be a singer? Or you are a singer. Well, you I'm have. Uh, why isn't that camera pointing at me? <laughs> hey, why isn't that camera pointing <laughs> over here? Get that here? camera over here. <laughs> I beg your pardon. His dirty feet. You know How dare you? <laughs> this sneaky cameraman. I can't believe it. And what is this innovation? Anyway, what were you asking? Wait, when was the last time, time that camera was on? When was the last time that camera was moved? No. All right. That camera's never been moved before. Send us some dope. <laughs> <laughs> there are enough dopes around here. <laughs> We need to listen to this for you, honey. Is it really? It's Blair Hello. Hi. I didn't know you were in town. No. Have I really? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to see Led Zeppelin next week. Really? How many tickets have we got? Right now. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. Bye bye. Mm. Who? That fabulous, ladies and gentlemen. Who was that? Did you see how she handled that, that telephone? Was that Led? Was that Led? Was. That was it. That Led was himself. It. Led Belly. Well, I have never been so. Never been so. You will stop it, Elsie. I've never been so upstaged in my life. Uh, oh no! <laughs> oh please! <laughs> what type of program is this? Where do you see what she <laughs> does for a nun? I've never been so shocked by an Anton Perry show in my life. Bring on the goddamn chat! Filmmaker and to be outlawed. I'm calling the best. Suddenly, they're, they're going to cut this out of the program. And Amanda, what do you I think of this? Do you believe? I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I think that was a Did commercial. Is that meat? one of our sponsors? Did you see Taylor's meat? Taylor, 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 we missed Taylor. your meat. It's actually quite big. It's <laughs> She's well, a little under the weather. Without an optical illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Taylor's meat. Is <laughs> <laughs> that a cocktail, Vienna? That was the smallest cock I've ever seen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the smallest cock you've ever seen. It's a first. <laughs> on the, to another television first. Well, my cock happens to be semi-large. Semi-anti. <laughs> semi-anti. Anti-semi. There's no one here to excite it. That's the problem. <laughs> Maybe you should go. They're all in the back room. Okay, we'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it has been very nice being on your Wait show. <laughs> you don't get anywhere. We booked you for half an hour, and you're going to stay for half an hour. Listen, you're booked for half an hour, and you're stay for half an hour. Will you sign the guest book for us? Yes. Why don't I'll turn to page three. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that. It's, it's probably... <laughs> Is this a pen or a page? We, for the phones are called. Keep those phone calls coming in. Is that from Nassau County? The same accent we, as you. How much did they? Not a Paris joke. Listen, a Pollock from Nassau County just donated fifty dollars to the Anton Perk show. <laughs> Keep them coming in from Nassau County. Thank you very much. And then we'll have Taylor Mead do another song for us. We have all this talent. I mean, Taylor Mead's going to take, catch the next plane to Las Vegas. <laughs> He's playing at the Grand Hotel. So have a dick off to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing at the Gotham Hotel on the 14th floor. <laughs> <laughs> on the 14th floor of the Gotham Hotel in Las Vegas, yes, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, these people have devoted all their time and their talent to this very good cause. And we'd appreciate more phone calls. The Bronx has been very receptive. We've had a lot of calls from the Bronx. South Bronx, we have Dion DiMucci for you later. She put that Jack thing on the end, like Al Pacino came Jack and Suzanne's Al Pacino hails from the South Bronx. Was, the sweetest person in the world. Until he started training at the McBurney Y. <laughs> no, Al Pacino was... Thank you for asking me on the show. Wait, well, that's okay. Oh, it's not finished. No, it's not finished oh, yet. It's 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 this is a telethon. It's for 13 that hours. That's the pilot. Now we're going to do the real thing. Mm -hmm. That's Maybe we should play um, Amanda Tate. <laughs> 